Aloha divers, this is Connor from Kona Freedivers and I'm here today with another one of my coworkers, Christian from Kona Freedivers. And we're here taking a look at the difference between carbon blades and fiberglass blades. Uh, so there's a lot of questions I get in the shop about these. People are kind of wondering what they should go for, what the differences are, um, and we'll go over that a little bit today and uh, see, what, uh, see what we can find out. Blades uh, are used to put be put in pockets when for things like free diving, spear fishing. I actually use mine for everything, so I have to I have to have my long fins on, or else I'll feel lost in the water. Uh, I use them for uh, just snorkeling. I use them for scuba. Uh, so yeah, I use them for a lot of different things, and I feel like they're the most efficient option. There's a few few reasons why I wouldn't use them for certain things, but they're they're really really ran. It, diving caves or wrecks I may not want to use long fins but for everything else these things I feel are the most efficient fins out there um, and we've got a few different options plastic is one of them now the reason that I don't generally go with plastic is because for the cost of them it's not it's not going to get you the efficiency you want uh, they're better than a short fin they're better than no fins and if you're going to go with something uh, at least go with a long fin plastic but I would suggest going up a little bit, spending a little bit more money and getting something like these fiberglass. So the reason that fiberglass uh, it are, are so good is for one, it's just the best bang for your buck. I mean, what do those things run, I think, for the for the blades in the shop? I think they're 120. Yeah, right guess. around there, right around there. So, and that's before the pockets. Yeah. So the way that you do it is you get your pockets and then you try to, try to pick your fin. Um, these particular fins are leader fin. Uh, they're made in Estonia. And one cool thing with the leader fin fiberglass is that they're, they're the cost. I mean, they're just absolutely ridiculously inexpensive for what you're getting out of it. Um, I would suggest going with something like that if you're not really sure you want to get into it really hardcore. If you're not, you know, you're just going out there to play around, you're not really going to be doing a whole lot, not doing, doing deep dives or, or, you know, free diving, trying to go up in the free diving skills. Um, but yeah, so that one's, uh, these ones are good for the cost. Yeah, and what I always tell people in the shop is if you've went free diving and you haven't made any purchases, um, but you love it and you fall in love with it and you want to do it way more, don't make your first purchase a plastic fin. If you know you're going to love it and you're going to use them a lot, you might as well buy either a fiberglass fin or a high quality carbon or even a low quality carbon because there's not much upgrade from here. If you buy that plastic, you're going to want to be able to uh, upgrade to that fiberglass and you realize that you really like the carbon so then you're gonna move to the carbons um, so you definitely want to stay in the fiberglass and in the carbon arena um, just so you get that high quality but you also don't have to spend more money down the line yeah a hundred percent I if you, if you know you're gonna be into it definitely go with the higher higher end blade uh, now the big difference between the fiber and the carbon you may be asking you know why would I want to spend you know a twice or three times the amount of money on a carbon rather than a fiberglass. Well, there's big jumps between uh, blades. So uh, when it comes to performance, plastic blades, they start out like, now yeah, they're better. Like I said earlier, they're better than no fins. They're better than short fins. So it's, it's a pretty big jump from that. From plastic to fiberglass is a, a, dr a dramatic jump. That, that, you know, plastics have a memory. So when you kick and you start to turn that kick the other way, the fin does not follow through. It just is lazy and it doesn't really want to get back to straight. With a fiberglass and carbon, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't have a memory. So what happens is it wants to get back to that straight profile as, as quick as possible. And so it gives you a lot more thrust with less effort. So that's kind of what the whole point of free diving is, is you want to use as little oxygen as possible, do as much as, as possible. So. The fiberglass is a pretty big jump from plastics and then you've got a bigger jump and that's that you can see that in price there's a jump from the fiberglass to, to the really nice carbons and there's some lower end carbons the problem with lower end carbons is usually uh, you know carbons cost a lot to be made um, so you know alchemies for example you know they're they're uh, you know they, they cost a little bit more 
but they're really, really well-made fin. And if you're gonna have a good fin, a good carbon or fiberglass fin, you're gonna want a bend profile that shows the end is gonna bend more than, than the, the one towards your, towards your toes. If it's just a, 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 you know, the same bend profile throughout, it's not made quite right. So it's not gonna be doing as much for you. It's just, it's just not, gonna, not gonna be working as hard. So I, I, if you're really into it, you wanna go up and you know you're gonna be in, you know, into the deeper free diver, you really wanna get into spearfishing, I suggest the carbon. And I get asked a lot, um, durability. I mean, that's something that people always ask. So as far as durability goes, I've had a lot of good luck with most of these fins. I've used carbons, I've used fiberglass. Um, I know you've tried a few of them. Um, I've never really had durability issues with them. I mean, some of the lower end stuff a while ago, sometimes there are some durability issues. Some people think carbon's gonna be more, more fragile than fiberglass, which isn't necessarily the case. I actually feel that good quality carbons are gonna be more durable than fiberglass, but that's not to say fiberglass is not durable. It's just, you, these will take a lot more, a lot more uh, abuse and still keep kicking. Yeah, and one thing that you always hear from anything instructor or, or friends asking about fins is efficiency. So what can you say about the efficiency of the fiberglass versus the carbon or even comparing them to a plastic fin? So the, yeah, this is a big jump in efficiency. So there's, the, you know, fiber, uh, plastic fins are, are more efficient than some of the shorter ones. Fiberglass is going to be quite a bit, quite a bit higher up in efficiency. So it's doing a lot more work for you. Mm -hmm. um, the carbons, that's kind of the epitome of efficiency. They're, you know, they're built to do the work for you. So you're not using as much energy and, and oxygen. So, and like this particular blade, this is an alchemy. Uh, these are made in Greece, really well-made fin. We've done a lot of these in the shop. There are a lot of, a lot of brands out there and uh, you know, a lot of them are, are fairly decent, but if you're going to get fiberglass, and you, because you don't know if you're going to get into it uh, that heavy, go with a cheaper fiberglass. Uh, you don't, because there's some fiberglass fins out there that cost $300, $400. And if, if you're going to spend that kind of money, go to carbon. I mean, if you're, I mean, there's no reason to spend $300, $400 on fiberglass blades when you can get a really good fiberglass blade for under $150. Um, if you're going to go high end, go with a high end carbon. Go with a manufacturer that that is well known, that's been around, that that's what they do. Alchemy, they've been around forever. C4, I like C4 personally, I use them. I've used all of them uh, here and there. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, if you really wanna get into it, um, you know, always look at kind of getting a higher higher end blade. And you can always come down to the shop, check them out. We've got all these in, we've got a bunch of different kinds. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what we've got for the, for the fins. I'm trying to think if there's any other questions that I get uh, regularly. Um, you know, they're, they're mounted different ways. I think that's a little bit, uh, so we can talk about that. And that's kind of what we've got for, for the, the carbon versus fiber. Uh, if you guys have any questions, always hit us up in the comments. I'm always, I always see the comments and, uh, I, if I, if not, I don't see them, the boss forwards them to me. So I, I, uh, I can answer those for everybody. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, Kona Free Divers Reviews. Um, and next time I'm going to probably, we'll put together a video. Uh, of mounting these things, you know, because that's another question I get a lot. Like, what's what's the best way, glue or screw? Find out in the next video. Subscribe, uh, come by the shop, say hi, and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, we'll get together for the next video and and put some together for you, so you guys can see what it's all about. All right, guys, aloha.